crazy and call my friends and make a big scene like you have nothing better to do. Victoria! Victoria, get your friend. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops already. I'm waiting. Bye. Leave me alone. Welcome back to the channel. This is GB Speaks Facts, and today I'm here to speak some facts. And the fact of today is the old entitled Karens are probably at the top of the list for the ones to fear when you're going about your day. They are decades past caring, and what people think about them, they just absolutely do not care anymore. They have just lived this life for way too long. They're just gonna do whatever they feel is right, and they're just walking on that tunnel vision path. It's actually a special ability by these specific Karens. It takes a certain amount of years for them to grow and actually gain this ability, almost similar to getting the Renegon, you know, with Madara after a certain period of time. You know what I'm talking about. But in any case, them being older tends to make it harder for people to go in on them. And this conflict makes the Karen situation or the interaction all that more worse to deal with now in this video we do have one of those karens and we are going to get into it because this lady actually did a really good job at fighting off this high level karen so good on her but you need to subscribe to the channel first or else you won't get your karen hunting license and we won't be able to go about this hunt together and also feel free to like the video show some support let's get this video on the algorithm guys i don't want you breaking the law so definitely sub so you can get that license did you do it yet? Okay. Without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. This first woman was recorded um, by the woman who uploaded it on TikTok's sister. This took place at her mom's senior assisted living facility. Apparently, this this woman does this all the time. This is not her first rodeo. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is her fake acting at the end. That's really something special. I don't care. Yeah, thank you. You cannot come all the way over here, have that energy to come all the way here to harass me. Harass you? Yes, you are harassing me, ma'am. You need to get away from me. You don't belong here. You need to Do you leave live me here? alone. Do you live here? You need to leave me alone, ma'am. Do you live here? Ma'am, you need to Do leave me alone. Do you live here? You what need apartment to leave are you in? me alone. What apartment are you in? It's not your business. Yes, it is. We came here to visit my mom, me and my child. And we deserve that. So we, you need to leave me alone, man. You need to get away. You come all the way from there. Coming over here is not okay. So you need to you need take to, care of your mom. No, it's not your business. What Go I do take is not your mom. What I do is not your business, ma'am. Go take your mom. What I do is not your business. <laughs> so you're telling me that I cannot sit over here? Is that what you're saying? You can sit here if you want to. Then why are you bothering me? I was sitting over here. I was sitting over here. You, you saw me. While you're sitting over there, you come all the way, leave all your stuff just to harass me. I cannot sit over here. That is not okay. okay. You say that I'm not, I don't belong over here. Do you and live that is here? not do what you, you said was, do I don't belong here? here. You give me a hand in the middle hand. Do you live here? You're harassing me. You, you did the same thing. Alone. Do you live here? Stop touching me. Do you live here? Stop touching me. Do you live here? Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Do you live here? Stop touching me. Do you Stop live touching here? Stop do you live here? touching me. Do you live here? Stop touching me. Stop touching me. You need to get away, Go to your mom's house. You need to get Go away. Go to your mom's house. Stop hitting me. I'm not hitting Stop you. Stop hitting me. Stop my phone. Stop okay, touching my it. phone. That's it. That's it. You're done. Thank you. And call me, please. Okay. I'm going to call the police right now. You go ahead. Okay. Thank you. I will call everybody that I know over here who lives over here as well. You broke my skin. Thank you. Jan? Jan? Yeah. Call 911. Sit over here, Hoy. Call 
Okay, so this first Karen is the one that I have covered before. And she has a certain archetype. And I will break it down for you guys here. This is the old stuck in their ways racist Karen from a time where a certain group of people had to drink at a different water fountain. And she'd probably still want it that way if it was her choice. So there's that. And look how she's attacking this lady repeatedly. And then when she gets a little scratch, she tries to cry and play victim over this. Jan, call 911. Yeah, on yourself with those wrinkly crocodile tears. Jan's got ears. She probably heard what went on. Like, what are you trying to pull, Karen? But as I always say, we're trying to find logic in Karen. So let's just move on to the next clip. This girl records what used to be her friend um, hitting her sliding glass door with a shovel attempting to break into her house uh, because she had left some things there and they got into an argument before. Do you want one of these? You want your fancy and call my friends and make a big scene like you have nothing better to do. Victoria! Victoria, get your friend! Oh, she's on camera. This is all fun. You're on camera. Tracy. Do you know his phone number starts with? He's calling me right now. Obviously, a whole lot of people saw this video and wanted to know just exactly what was going on here. So she came back to TikTok to upload a video. Actually, her mom did, where she asks her to explain exactly what's going on here. Pretty interesting. Okay, listen, if you left something at someone's house, this is your fault. You left it there. And if you want them to take the time out of their day, at least be respectful. Like, think about it. We can clearly see why they're not friends anymore. This lady is psycho. She's a psycho Karen. Unless you left a diamond at her house, the damage that you cause and the potential charge you might get is far more worse than whatever it probably is in the house that you need to claim, which is probably like a vape pen or or something she just seems she just comes off as that type of girl you know what i mean but anyways there is a follow-up by the girl's mother who actually lives at the home so let's get some context gb's got that context for you guys i know i'm awesome let's let's just take a look all right victoria so what's the backstory all right listen i don't care if i had that woman's mother's last dying breath in a box on my shelf you do not get to act like that in front of people you don't get to come to my house and act like that no nope. but let me tell you what happened okay mm -hmm. so this girl she was my friend and she had wanted to come and get her stuff and she treated me quite rudely on the phone a lot of name calling i said to her good day ma'am i'm going to my movie so <laughs> <laughs> then she proceeds to jump out of someone's vehicle that she was with jumped out to come to my house and repeatedly beat on my door, front door first. her stuff. Front door first. I'm in my house, I'm not opening my door. I just wanna go to my movie. So eventually she hops the fence, she's in my backyard, you see what happens there. What am I to do? Open the door and give her her stuff? Ab so as I assumed, the girl was busy and had to go somewhere wonder what movie she was gonna watch anyways on top of this it's her ex-friend and you're being rude on top of everything not a good recipe to get someone to go out their way to do something for you just saying so it seems she did not like the answer she got and then she proceeded to bring a shovel to the girl's house and you drove in a car you brought the shovel you had it in your hand ready to go you get out the car and you start beating on her window with it because you left your vape pen in the freaking house bro you're threatening damages and or threatening you know her and then damages to her property this is not a karen guys this is just a straight psychopath individual and she needs to be arrested and i hope she is charged for this you crazy crazy person this next video was uploaded by a woman named kim with the caption that read i was sitting in my car a few houses down from mine when this lady had her partner come up to me and ask me what i'm doing i explained i was on a call having a meeting with my boss and he asked if i lived here i said yes and then he was getting Re ready sorry ready to leave me alone then this lady told him something so he asked for proof that i lived there and i told him i didn't have to show him where i live and then this began your steering wheel covered in because her son Bullshit. you were okay that's fine you can house. leave me alone call we the cops pictures of your steering wheel. thank you bye
Bye. Bye. Leave me alone. I live here. Yes, I do. I don't need to show you where. Go ahead. I don't care. Leave me alone. Bye. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops. Call the cops already. I'm waiting. Bye. Leave me alone. I'm not parked in front of your house. I'm in front of them. I don't need to. Because you're sleeping. I'm not sleeping. I had I a meeting with my boss. You no, car. you were. I was Did never. Step call 911. I was never sleeping. I had a meeting with my boss. My mom works from home. She was on a call, What's so I can't. I don't need to tell you my address. Where's your mom? It doesn't matter. It's not your Did business. You leave the neighborhood? I live here. This is my neighborhood. Where? I live down here. I don't show need to explain to you. Show me where. I don't need to show you. This is where Please. I live. I don't Please. need to live. I live right here. Okay, I know you live here. Okay, that's fine. I live right here. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. She's once again, I'll say this just like I did in other videos. I also do not like people loitering near my house with their cars either. And it's always safe, you know, it's a safe situation till it's not. So I do understand her concern. But reacting the way she is, attacking this lady, especially after sensing out this situation, like this woman in the car seems understanding, although she's getting this attitude from this crazy Karen. So there's no reason to get at her like this. Also, take a look here. Just take a look right here. Has no one caught this? It literally looks like she's trying to pull out a gun on this girl. And like, it just never gets addressed in this video. Like, look, take a look. It's literally her looking like she's about to brandish the gun. We got ourselves another psychopath Karen on our hands. So as you'd expect, the police were called and we do have a little bit of a clip about that. So let's just take a look at what happened. Parked in front of my house when she lives That's your house? She's crying. Right, parking right there, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. That's her house? Right there. She's taping me in front of my house. You want to see it? I showed the cops the video. They know you want to see it. She lived there. Do Why you know how many people? We have her steering wheel covered in a blanket. Yeah, it's a, it's a and I asked her to leave. Okay. What are you secretly the new Griselda Blanco or something? Like why are you so scared for her parking there? It's not against the law. It's a public road. I swear sometimes cops have to go through the stupidest calls. I could only imagine. And I also still don't know why the gun thing has not been addressed. Like maybe nobody noticed. So good on you Psycho Karen. I guess you're safe from that one. But we saw. The internet saw. And the internet never forgets. But wait. There's more. So the girl in the car actually provided what I think is like no context at all, but it is a follow up. So we're just going to take a look at it. Okay. So I'm going to try to speed through as many questions that I can. So originally the man came to my car and I understood the concern of maybe a car he didn't recognize being there. So I answered him. He was really cool about it. Moved on. It was once I dropped my sweater, like the one that was blocking the sun from me, it was like on my visor steering wheel. That was when I dropped it and looked across it so he was talking to, and that's when everything escalated. She came to my car, started harassing me. She started yelling at me, saying that there's no way that I could live in this neighborhood and all of that. After that, she said, let me, she's like, drive off and I'm gonna follow you home. And I was like, no. So that's when I called the cops and everything went from there. So yeah, more or less she just told us but we could have just simply understood by watching the video. Like I think she may have just wanted to look pretty and get some, you know, extra extension of clout from the situation. Justifiably so, you get attacked by Karen, at least get a little bit of internet, f uh, you know, fame out of it. But there was almost no point in her following up with this, but eh, whatever. We got some context, right? I should dub this video Psycho Karen Edition because wowzers, these ones were one flew from the cuckoo's nest, if you know what I mean. I would pray when I move to a home with a family a family and all that, sorry, I don't end up with a Karen like this as a neighbor because I'd be calling the real estate agent right back, right away. Give me back my money. <laughs> but what do you guys think? If you got harassed by that older Karen while visiting family, how would you handle it? And also, did anyone else notice that alleged hammer? Because 
I think that is illegal what she was about to do. Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. You already know what it is. GB out this bitch. Peace.